Hey guys, it's Metagosis Perfectionalis. In previous videos, we have discussed ABO incompatibility and RH incompatibility causing hemolytic disease of the newborn. Today, we'll compare between the two. So, first, ABO incompatibility is more common but less severe. RH incompatibility, on the other hand, is less common but more severe. ABO incompatibility, the mother is blood group O. Fetus can be blood group A or B. Here, the mother can be of any blood group. Mother is RH negative. Fetus is RH positive. But blood group wise, like A or B or O, it doesn't matter. First pregnancy can be affected. No sensitization required. Here, the first pregnancy is safe because we need previous sensitization. Hepatosplenomegaly is less common. Okay, because it's less severe. Also, unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia is less common. Jaundice is less common. Hemolytic anemia is less common. Coronectoris is less common. Reticulocytosis is less common. Nucleated red blood cell presence in the blood smear is less common. Why? Because this is less severe. On the other hand, RH incompatibility, all of these are more common. Now, let's do the Coombs test. Here we have weekly positive direct Coombs test for the fetal red blood cells. In the RH incompatibility, it's more severe. So we have both direct and indirect Coombs. Both of them are strongly positive. Here we have spherocytes. Here we have no spherocytes. Why is that? Because the entire red blood cell is phagocytosed by the macrophages. That's how severe this anemia can be. Okay, quick note. Did you know that ABO incompatibility can prevent the mother from developing RH sensitization? Yes, indeed. For example, you can bring a white piece of paper and write on it. Imagine that mommy is blood group O, RH negative, and she's carrying a fetus who is blood group A, RH positive. Then, any RH positive fetal red blood cells entering her circulation will be destroyed by maternal anti-A IgM agglutinins, therefore preventing RH sensitization. But beware, ABO incompatibility is not protective if the blood group ORH positive red blood cells in the baby enter the maternal circulation. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe.